Azerox's Z790 Steel Legend motherboard packs lots of features and looks nice to boot. It even comes with a postcard. Hey Ma, check out my Steel Legend. Wait, that didn't come out right. I do like the white and grey colour scheme though, with just enough RGB to not go overboard and make me shake my head in disgust. The Z790 Steel Legend supports Intel's 12th and 13th gen processors and comes with a 16 plus 1 plus 1 power phase design using Nichicon 12K black caps to even handle Intel's flagship CPU. There's also a couple of forward-thinking features such as PCIe Gen 5 support and Azerox's patented graphics card holder. With high-end graphics cards continuing to get larger and heavier, I think it's a pretty nifty exclusive feature. The steel reinforced memory slots support dual channel DDR5 up to 128GB and 6800 plus OC. There are four M.2 slots, three of them are covered by STEEL ARMOR and one is exposed and butt naked. The top one supports PCIe Gen 5 and the rest go up to Gen 4. However, if both top two M.2 slots are occupied at the same time, the Gen 5 graphics card slot will downgrade from X16 to X8 mode. So that's still like a full speed Gen 4 X16 slot, even if you're running four NVMe drives on the board at the same time. On top of that, you've got another 8 SATA ports for a ridiculous amount of storage possibilities. The other steel reinforced card expansion slot supports Gen 4 X4 and the bottom plastic one is Gen 3 X2. The Z790 Steel Legend also includes an Intel Wi-Fi 6E M.2 card. There's a USB-C and a couple 3.0 headers for front panel I.O. And on the I.O. plate itself, there's HDMI, DisplayPort, 8 USB 3, 5 gigabit, a USB 3 and C 10 gigabit. Yep, 10 USB ports and all high speed, although there are no 20 gigabit USB ports included. Realtek 2.5 gigabit LAN rounds off the network connection. Audio is handled by the popular Realtek ALC897 chip. There are a mix of 7 fan and water pump headers. RGB and LED headers are also available if you're keen on that. In the box, you get a Wi Fi antenna, graphics card holder, cable management, Velcro straps manuals, SATA cables, Steel Legend branded keyboard cap, and all the screws you'll need to keep it together. I do like Azerox's visual bias, it's well laid out and easy to use. Like my previous review, internet flash is gone with this board as well. Might be due to security concerns, I'm not sure, but it was a convenient feature while it lasted. The fantastic tuning app lives up to its name and allows you to set your fan curves as you like. Overclocking options allow you to set and save a bunch of profiles. Polychrome Sync RGB makes it easy to change RGB settings at the BIOS level. The Windows app can be installed for more control. When you install Windows or flash the BIOS, you'll get a prompt to install the ASRock Auto Driver Installer. It works great, doesn't push any spamware, and gets you the latest drivers for your board you need to get up and running. I tested the Z790 Steel Legend with an i9-13900K at default settings with DDR5 5600. The single core benchmark had the Steel Legend slightly behind the Z690i board I tested the 13900K on originally, just over 1%, but it was almost 2% faster in multi-core. Both boards are giving pretty similar results for the 13900K. The Z690 board was slightly ahead in the integrated graphics test. Nothing major, but still interesting. Actual gaming performed very similarly on both. I didn't encounter any stability issues or other problems during my tests. At 290 US dollars, you get a lot of features for the money. The Azerox Z790 Steel Legend is a good option for the mid-range and is a nice looking board if you plan to put it behind tempered glass. I'll be using it for my new workstation. The plentiful USB ports and M.2 slots are what I'm looking for. And if you're looking for a CPU to pair it with, do check out my 13900K versus 13600K video to make the choice a bit easier. Cheers!